what's going on? This is Muriel from the Sunshine Family and Fruits of Costa Rica. Which fruits can you find in Costa Rica? Well, that's what I'm gonna talk about in today's video from my own mango finca here in Costa Rica. I live here, amazing, right? I have 175 mango trees and they also give fruits. Uh, but you're probably here because you're somehow interested in Costa Rica, whether that's uh, to take a vacation or to travel to Costa Rica and perhaps you're even dreaming about moving to Costa Rica. Well, I can just say, follow your heart. It has been amazing and the most amazing journey of my life together with my husband Dirk and two growing up kids since 2018. And I'm looking up because there's my coconuts. And uh, I was inspired to share more about fruits of Costa Rica because I'm so surrounded by it. And um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, this is a, a little suggestion to do so. Click that little icon you see here on the screen, tap the bell, and then you get notified every time I upload new content. It's always Costa Rica related and I literally share everything I have learned myself so we can learn from my mistakes. <laughs> so with that being said, uh, fruits of Costa Rica, well, the mangoes, an amazing fruit. There is so many types of mangoes. This is called Kit Mango. Uh, all these trees were already here uh, when we bought the property. Uh, there were like a couple of more. We had to tear down a couple to build the house, just one. And we took away some mango fruit trees over there and plant more diverse uh, type of fruit trees. So we have more variety. Um, and that is amazing. That means, you know, I get some mangoes. You can freeze them in. You can use them right away. Uh, we're going to do like a mango picking day, Sunday for all my friends and um, pick as many mangoes as you wish. And uh, uh, we ask 1000 colonists donation for Wild Sun Rescue Center. They do amazing work rescuing, uh, yeah, wildlife that had some trouble <laughs> and uh, yeah with that being said that's the mangoes and uh, we also gonna bring some boxes for the for the animals of the wild rescue center and here above my head you see oh you know I'm gonna do it like this where is it okay I'm gonna do it like this maracuya hold on you see it Maracuya. It looks like this. Ooh, beautiful. So Dirk built this rack. He was inspired and he made, he created this sun. Cool, huh? Eh? So proud of Dirk. And yes, this is not the first maracuya we've had. Oh, look, there's one more over here. And there's a baby over there. And uh, what I discovered is that a shake with fresh banana, which I'm gonna show you right now, and a maracuya, which is very sour, um, with some honey and some ice and coconut water and coconut flesh. That's amazing. So now I'm going to show you, we actually totally already ate it, but these bananas are amazing coming from our own tree right and then I must say our papaya trees <laughs> we had two this is one left had so many papayas and the other one too and the ground was not solid enough for their roots they grow very fast in a very short amount of time and they both collapsed but I have this to ripe and then to eat or to put in the freezer whatsoever for later but let me show you look okay. papayas so here you see some fallen papayas, which we actually saved. And that is of course amazing fruit of Costa Rica. Okay, and then we have star fruits. I will show you. It's not really star fruit time, but I, there are some leftovers. And here you can see them. It's beautiful shaped fruit, you see? Amazing, right? Look at 
And that is our grapefruit tree. Amazing, right? But that's not all. Every day we squeeze fresh lime from our lime tree. And that is just amazing. Here, never ending. Fresh, <laughs> you see them? Fresh lime, uh, full of vitamin C, of course. And um, yeah. I'm always super grateful to be able to eat all the fresh fruits from my land. And this is, of course, not food, it's basil, which we use often in the pasta. And uh, well, behind me, it's uh, manzana da aqua. It's an amazing, it's a mix between apples and pears. Uh, the monkeys love them <laughs> a lot. And uh, yeah. I can continue. So, and um, where I showed you where we took away some mango trees, planted some new trees, uh, blackberry is uh, part of, the, of that, and uh, lychee trees, and some other fruit trees, which names I forgot. But uh, yeah, it's so easy to grow here, you know, uh, especially now in uh, wet season, the green season, uh, the rainy season. We have many names for that. Um, you see everything in front of you growing. Literally the grass was done two days ago and now it's already grown. So, but that's beautiful of the rainy season. It's one of my favorite seasons right now. It rains every day, but the sun is shining as well. And so you will see everything growing around you. So if you're looking uh, for a life where you can live outdoors, basically, uh, where you can eat from your fruits, from your fruit trees in Costa Rica and just, yeah, really feel that outdoor living lifestyle. Costa Rica is really the hit. Uh, I never regretted one day that we made the decision back in 2016, 17 to just move, take our family, sell all our stuff, give it away and move with two suitcases and a backpack. Of course, I'm always grateful for my online laptop business, which um, I managed to run since 2013 and I'm job free. I'm also teaching people all over the world already since 2014 uh, with my own coaching programs, mentorship, and I made some uh, digital courses and wrote some books. If you're interested, there's a world of information below. If you want to learn about how to create a lifestyle business like I have, giving you the freedom of choice and location to just move to Costa Rica, or if you're done with Costa Rica, to move somewhere else, as long as you have your laptop. And with that being said, I'm always happy to read your replies below i'm always re replying to it and i'm um, looking forward to seeing you in my next video bye for now from costa rica